In this video, we will review how to format text and paragraphs. To change font attributes, click the Home tab, and then notice all of the options available in the font group. For example, if you want to change the font, we'll just change the font of this particular line. Um, you highlight it, or select it, and then you will choose a font. You can change the color if you'd like. You can apply bold italics so you've got all of these different options you can increase the size of it if you need additional options click the dialog box launcher button and notice the options you have here you have more font options including small caps and then on the advanced tab you have character spacing and open type features so make sure you review all of these you also have text effect options To use Find and Replace to format text, return to the top of the document, click the Home tab, and then click Replace in the Editing group. If the More button is not displayed, click on More. If you have uh, formatting options already set, you need to click No Formatting for each one and then you will put in what you wish to find. For this example, we are going to replace this Gil Sands 16 point font with a different font and maybe a 14 point in size. So you click in Find What, click Format, and then again for this example we are going to replace the font. Click the Font tab if necessary. Make sure you choose the appropriate font from the list. and then if desired choose a size and then click OK now we want to replace it with we'll just choose Arial and then we'll choose 14 and maybe set a color also and then click OK and then click replace all. Click OK again and then close the dialog box and you can see that it did go in and replace the Gil Sands font. To use Format Painter you simply select the text, return to the Home tab if necessary, and then you will either click or double click the format painter. If you only need to paint it one time, you can click it once and then highlight the, or select the text that you wish to format. And now you can see that format painter is no longer active. If you want to apply it more than once, double click it and then continue to select text until you finish and then you will hit escape to turn off the format painter. To set paragraph spacing you have several different options here. You can return to the home tab and activate the line and paragraph spacing button and you can see here this will allow you to add space before the paragraph or add space after the paragraph. So that's a very simple option. If you need additional options for paragraph spacing, you can click the dialog box launcher button on the paragraph group. And you can see here that you can add spacing before and spacing after. And then you will simply click OK. And you can see that it did put spacing before and after the line that was selected. You can also access this from the page layout tab. To set line spacing, highlight the lines that you want it to apply to, return to the home tab in the paragraph group and click on the line and spacing button and let's just say that we want it double spaced you can see that it will apply double spacing to what we had selected. To 
To clear existing formatting, you will select the text, return to the Home tab, and then find the Clear All Formatting button in the font group. And we'll just scroll back up, select one of these lines, and then click the button. And you can see that it removes all the formatting. It doesn't take it back to the way it was before I applied it. It removes all of the formatting. To set indentation, return to the Home tab, click in the Paragraph group, and then look at your indent buttons. And you can see here you can decrease the indent or you can increase the indent. If you need additional options for setting indents, click the dialog box launcher button. And you can see here you have a set for indentation. You can set left indents, right indents, or special indents such as a hanging indent or a first line indent. Set the appropriate options and click OK. You can also use the ruler for indentation. If you go to the View tab and click on Ruler, then you can bring it up and you can see how we've got the indents set for this document because of all of the bulleted items. To highlight text selections, select the text, click the Home tab, and then click the drop-down arrow on the Text Highlight Color button in the font group. And then choose the desired highlight color and click it. To add style to text, select the text, return to the Home tab, and then choose a style in the Styles group. To see additional styles, click the More button. And then simply click the desired style. To change text to Word Art, select the text, click the Insert tab, and then click the Word Art button in the text group. Select a word art style and then click it. To modify an existing style attribute, return to the Home tab, look at your styles group, right click the style that you wish to modify, click Modify, and then make your changes. Notice that you can click the Format button for additional options. click OK, and then click OK again. And this concludes the review for formatting text and paragraphs.